Ladies and gentlemen, we'll go ahead and begin. So um, for those of you who don't know, I am Ms. Christina Council. I am the Academy Coordinator at Middle Creek High School. And we have the pleasure today of being able to watch our junior class present their project on the recruitment campaign for the Digital Media Academy. Um, I'm very excited to see this. I personally have a lot invested in this project because it helps me in, in my job and I appreciate all the work that the students have done. Um, it's truly uh, something magical when we see all this, all the pieces come together with these students and the staff um, in the, these multi-step, multi-process big projects. And so I'm very excited to see what they've got today. I know you will be too. Thank you so much to all of our parents that are here joining us today to support your students. Thank you so much to our CT support staff um, at Central Office who are here to see the, your amazing work. And thank you to our admin and, and our fourth period teachers that had a chance to um, come and support our academy students today too. Um, I want to go ahead and recognize Mr. Petty and Ms. De Silva, who are the teacher, the academy teachers that work together with the cohort here. Um, Mr. Petty, you want to say hello? Just again to follow up, thank everybody for being here today. We're really excited. The students have done an amazing job, and I think you guys will all be impressed by what they've created. And Ms. De Silva? Yeah, good afternoon. Thank you for being here, and I think you'll be impressed. All right, without further ado, let's go ahead and begin. Maddie, you can take it away. Hello, everyone. My name is Maddie Sheridan. And I'm Brock Herring. And for our Academy Collaboration Project, we decided to create a recruiting campaign for the Adobe Digital Media Academy here at Middle Creek High School. Due to the changes in the traditional school environment this year as a result of COVID-19, the opportunity presented itself to do something to promote the academy that would be useful for years to come. So we broke off into groups to create advertisements using graphics, audio, animations, and videos. While our main goal was to get the word out to rising ninth graders, we knew that it would be important to also include in our target audience administrators, counselors, teachers, and of course, their parents. To start, we needed to come up with a powerful and attention-grabbing slogan that would create a common theme for the campaign. After brainstorming as a class, we had a few top contenders. In the end, we decided on a short but sweet slogan, Design the Future. As soon as we settled on the slogan, we began the process to create some final deliverables to get the word out. That being said, we will now hear from the five teams responsible for creating advertisements. I'm going to hand it over to the graphics team to start. Hi, my name is Stephanie Pitcher, and these are my teammates Addie Dean, Juliana Jardina, Claire Leonard, and Maddie Sheridan. To begin the process, we first decided we wanted to have three different print ads, each of them targeting a different audience. We had one for students, one for parents, and one for teachers and administrators. Each ad would be tailored specifically to each group of people so that each group could help spread the word about the Adobe Digital Media Academy. During this time, we also decided on a color scheme of red, white, and black to demonstrate the school's colors. Once this was decided, we decided to break up into three different groups and begin the brainstorming process. For the student print ad, we liked the theme of the lineup for our graphics. We knew the visual representation that were simple and straight to the point would catch the eye of younger students interested in any of the digital arts. We first started to create each of our line art graphics and icons in Adobe Illustrator. Our final product here showcases the line art that highlights all that the Adobe Digital Media Academy has to offer. You'll notice that we kept the text minimal and specific to what students should know about the Academy before applying. For the parent print ad, we wanted to portray information about graduation and career related skills that are learned in the Academy. We knew that a parent of rising ninth graders would be intrigued by seeing how the academy will prepare his or her child for future success. We drew most of our inspiration from these ads here. We like the idea of having a focal point with surrounding information. The print ad on the far left is the one we drew most inspiration from. As you can see, the graduate is the main focal point and the circles surrounding the silhouette hold all of the information. Here is our final ad. We used the silhouette of graduates and listed all the benefits of the academy on the right. We also added a brief description of the program and included a QR code to easily access the website to get more information. 
When it came to the administrator printout, we liked some of the aspects of the advertisement to the left. Also, we wanted to show all of the necessary information regarding coursework, what the Academy offers to students, and all of the benefits these students receive through both text and visual imagery on the graphic. After brainstorming, there was a solid understanding of what we wanted the print ad to look like, and then these ideas of the layout were demonstrated on the print ad, um, were visualized to the right of the drawing. And this is the final product. This print ad informs the reader of how to apply to the Academy while also showcasing what the Academy is through pictures of Academy students. These are the three final print ads, which gives information about the Adobe Digital Media Academy, but target different demographics. We envision they'd be used in our feeder middle schools as posters, handouts, and digitally as attachments and emails and on social media platforms. Now I'd like to hand it over to the audio team. Hi, my name is Naya Mesa, and these are my teammates, Jack Bissett, Owen Hayes, and Brock Herring, and we are the audio team. For our portion of the campaign, we worked alongside the animation and video promo teams to script and record voiceovers that would seamlessly and effectively deliver crucial information to their target audiences. We began working with the animation team, helping with the rundown and ensuring that the voiceover and animation was cohesive. Next, Owen and I collaborated to find a song that would work well with the animation. We decided that Perception from Ben Sound was the best fit. In the meantime, Jack got to work on recording the voiceover, and I edited and looped the song so that it would properly fit the runtime. I set up a mini recording studio in my closet, soundproofed with pillows and blankets, and used my phone for the recording device to create a clean and prof professional sounding voiceover that would match the tone of his animated counterpart. We also helped with the creation of the voiceover for the video promo, which I recorded using the same techniques as Jack. Since this was a collaborative project, you'll get to see our work when the animation and video promo teams present their final deliverables. We would now like to pass it over to the animation team. Hello, my name is Savannah Waden, and I work to create an animation with my partners, Claire Dates, Jacob Valenta, and Lena Pataris. To begin our brainstorming process, we needed to decide what our most important goals and objectives were for this animation. Our three main focuses were to introduce the Adobe Digital Media Academy, highlight its courses and components, and showcase extracurricular opportunities and field trips. We wanted to make sure our video catered to our target audience, students, to have the biggest impact. Our next step was look, to look for inspirational animated ads created by larger companies and then to decide which aspects of the Academy we wanted to highlight. Our team wrote the script in collaboration with the audio team and focused on conveying a clear explanation of the Academy while getting students excited about the opportunity. Then we created a storyboard to go along with the script. In making this, we kept in mind the need for visuals that supported the script in an entertaining way. After the audio team edited the voiceover and added music, we began the animation process. The first step was to design each element of the motion graphic in Adobe Illustrator. Then each member of the team imported their scenes into After Effects and began to animate. After each scene was completed, Savannah and Claire brought them into Adobe Premiere to add transitions, music, and sound effects. We are proud to present to you our final animation. Do you like design? Are you passionate about audio and video production? Do you like computers? Then make your high school experience something special and apply to the Adobe Digital Media Academy, a four-year program combining digital media and English courses with hands-on experience designed to prepare you for the workplace. You'll be immersed in learning all five components of digital media, graphics, audio, video, web design, and animation just like this one. Then show off your skills at local, state, and national competitions with SkillsUSA. Or partner with their sports teams and make a play-by-play -play sports broadcast led by students for students in the sports block. You'll also have the opportunity to go on exclusive and exciting field trips to places like Mix 101.5, WRAL, NC State, 
Epic Games, and more. Apply to the Adobe Digital Media Academy now and begin your journey to design the future. In short, we wanted an animation that would help students understand all that the Academy has to offer, while also drawing their interest through visual components. In addition, we took this opportunity to showcase the students just one example of the skills they'll have to, of the example of what they'll have the skills to create someday. We're now like to pass it over to the video promo team. Hi, my name is Kirsten McComas, and these are my teammates, Kate Crutchfield, Grace Showquist, and Chris Venegas. Together, we make up the video promotional team. Our goals when creating the promotional video were to introduce the Adobe Digital Media Academy through photos and a narration and to highlight all benefits the Adobe Digital Media Academy has to offer. We also wanted to focus on our target audience when creating the video, which included middle school teachers, counselors, and administrators. The hope is that after watching the video, they would recommend the Academy to students who have a passion for digital art. Here you can see some screenshots for our brainstorming process. For a promotional video, we wanted to incorporate this sense of family, so our team decided to use an upbeat song that portrays that feeling. We then created a script that informed students about the Academy and its benefits, which was narrated by Naya Mesa. After that, we collected all the photos we wanted to include in our product, and it was time to begin the creation of the promotional video. Our first task was to gather the audio portion of our video and drop it into Adobe Premiere to start matching the pictures up with the voiceover. Since we decided to use pictures exclusively in our video, we created a zoom in and out effect on all the pictures to give our promotional video some movement. We then used Adobe After Effects to create the introduction of our video, which includes the school and the Academy logo. We are now excited to show you the final product of the Adobe Digital Media Academy's promotional video. Welcome to the Adobe Digital Media Academy, a four-year high school program that combines English classes and digital media courses to immerse students in hands-on cross-curricular projects modeled after authentic workplace experiences. This program gives students the opportunity to enhance their technical and soft skills and be a part of something special. The Academy also provides students with multiple field trip opportunities to businesses and universities, such as SAS, WRIL, Mix 101.5, Elon, NC State, and many more. Additionally, Academy students have the opportunity to participate in many extracurricular activities like Skills USA and the Sports Block to help them explore their passion and ambitions. This program is a great way for students to create friendships with peers and connections with teachers that will last a lifetime. If you are interested in applying for the Adobe Digital Media Academy, see your guidance counselor or contact the Career Academy Coordinator at Middle Creek High School. Come join our family and begin your journey to design the future. With this video, we wanted to inform local middle school teachers, counselors, and administrators of the many benefits and opportunities that the Academy offers so they would then encourage eighth grade students to apply. We would now like to turn your attention to the testimonial team. My name is Jenna Ball, and my partners are Michael Stratemeyer, Luca Pavlovic, and Shronic Aurora. We make up the video testimonial team. Our goal was to create a testimonial video showcasing successes of alumni of the Adobe Digital Media Academy and how the Academy has helped them get to where they are today. We thought the best way to do this was through the words of our Academy graduates. We want to create a video that would appeal to parents of rising navigators and believe parents would be interested in seeing how the Adobe Digital Media Academy impacted students after high school in both college and career experiences. We began by contacting past graduates of the Academy and asking them to send us a video answering some questions, including where they attend college, what skills they gained, and what they loved most about being an Academy member. After receiving over 50 submissions, we sorted through them to gather the best responses for our final video. This included creating a spreadsheet of who was going to be in what section to be sure everyone was used at least once. After the clips were sorted, we brought them into Adobe Premiere in order to piece them together into one collective video. When the videos were all correctly placed, we included upbeat background music and added retro TV effects to the beginning and end. We wanted our video to tell a story and to captivate viewers from start to finish. At this time, we would like to present to you our final testimonial video. Hi, I'm Steven. 
I'm Melissa. I'm Sara. I'm Juan. I'm Daniel. I graduated from the Adobe Digital Media Academy at Miller Creek High School in 2017. 2013. 2009. 2016. 2012. 2020. I attend the University of North Carolina Wilmington. NC State. Meredith College. Savannah College of Art and Design. UNC Charlotte. I am majoring in Communication Studies. Biomedical Sciences. Graphic Design. Business Administration. Political Science. Integrated Media. At the end of my four years in the academy, I had an impressive skill set that included public speaking, teamwork, collaboration, time management, attention to detail, adaptability, creativity, leadership, hands-on application using industry software, Adobe certifications, professional internships, a portfolio, a resume, and career connections. What I loved most about being a part of the academy was all the friends I made along the way and all the opportunities it presented me. Being in class with like-minded individuals, working with some of the latest technology, and of course, uh, getting taught by some of the greatest teachers. The sense of family and the fact that I learned a lot of stuff that I didn't learn in my other classes. When you're in the academy, your peers and the teachers become part of your family. My experience in the academy was very positive. I learned how to use the Adobe Suite products and specialized in video editing my senior year. This allowed me to get the skills needed to start my own media business. My experience in the academy helped me land wedding jobs so that I could give myself a steady income while I was studying college. My experience in the academy helped me get into the College of Design and prepared me for design critiques while I was there. My experience in the academy gave me a strong three or four year lead on my peers in college when it came to using industry standard tools and actually gave me a direction to go with my professional life. The Adobe Digital Media Academy set me up for success in college, my career, and in life. I am the Academy. I am the Academy. I am the Academy. I am the Academy. We are the Adobe Digital Media Academy. Come join the family. We would now like to turn things over to Brock and Maddie to wrap up our presentation. We are confident that the deliverables we created will be instrumental in getting the word out about the Academy to rising ninth graders, their teachers, administrators, guidance counselors, and parents. We are also pleased that what we have created could be used each spring in all Middle Creek High School feeder middle schools. A special thanks to the Middle Creek High School administrative team and our Academy coordinator, Ms. Council, as well as the staff at CTE Central Office for their support, and the teachers, administrators, and guidance counselors at Westlake Middle School who promoted our marketing materials during their morning announcements. Additionally, we would like to thank all of our amazing Digital Media Academy alumni that provided testimonial videos as to the benefits of the Academy. This concludes the Junior Adobe Digital Media Academy recruiting campaign presentation. Thank you all for being here today. At this time, we would welcome the chance to get your feedback or answer any questions. You guys did such an amazing job. Thank you so much. So like she said, we want to open this up to the parents, to our alumni, to our staff here at Middle Creek High School and at Central Office. Please ask questions for our students. Um, part of this learning process is learning how to present. You can tell that they've all practiced really hard and learned how to present this project really well, but they also need to be able to answer questions on the spot. So do me a favor, do the teachers a favor, and ask some questions of these amazing students so that we can give them an opportunity to explain a little bit more about their process or any other um, burning questions you, you guys might have. Feel free to unmute your mics. You can press the button at the bottom or you can put a question in the chat window. So I'll start. I have a question on the testimonial piece. Um, so at the end, when first of all, the whole thing was phenomenal, every piece of it. Um, but I, I was specifically wanting to ask about the testimonials at the end when you had all of them at one time, basically saying we are the academy. How do you pull that together? I'm not familiar enough with um, the the software to do that. So give me a little lesson on what that's like. So I did that uh, specific part and pretty much what it is is that you take 
you take like um, every individual video, you like clip it up into them saying, only them saying, we are the Adobe Digital Media Academy. And it's pretty much like a work of layers of you layering it like uh, one person at the top and then like rows and columns and making them all even and making all the sound sync up. So that's pretty much how it works. Well, it was impressive. Thank you. I have a lot of very uh, nostalgic things to say, but I'm gonna uh, sort of funnel questions from my freshmen here uh, in the classroom. They are interested in you guys. Um, how long did this take? When did you start uh, this process? They're they're extremely impressed. If they weren't all wearing masks, I think I would see their jaws are hanging open. Uh, but they they're wondering how in the heck and and you pulled it off and how long it took. So it took us, we were presented with a project like maybe like three weeks ago and we only had two weeks to do it, maybe even less than that, but, and we were kind of stressed out, but I think we just had lots of experience from past projects that we've done before and a small amount of time. It was a little stressful, but we did get it done, which was you know, impressive, I think. It was so impressive and I can't see their mouths, but when you just said three weeks, I saw all their eyes pop out of their heads. So uh, yes, that was that was an incredible thing to pull off in that amount of time. Before you ask any more questions or having more questions from your class, I want to give a little bit more background information on this. Um, so part of my job as the Academy Coordinator is to recruit for our beer middle schools to try to get students to apply for the Academy. And so that, you know, involves talking to the middle school guidance counselors, administrators, um, parents of middle schoolers, and, you know, making them aware of the program and seeing if it's a good fit. And so um, every year when we normally do an open house for those feeder middle school parents and students that might be interested in getting more information. This year, the open house had a disaster happen. It was just awful. And so um, I was really worried about our recruitment this year and our, and our um, numbers. And the junior academy members really stepped up to the plate, immediately came up with this project and a solution and lots of amazing materials. And some of the questions that I see in the chat um, is what is the plan to get it out to the middle schools? So we've already put it out on um, Twitter and uh, all the websites that, you know, the middle schoolers are looking at that are the feeder middle schools. We've sent it out to the administration um, at the different feeder middle schools as well so they can get it out to their students. Um, and then one of the other questions was, do you have a way of measuring your results of your work? So the only real measurement that I have right now is that, um, like I said, normally I get all of my recruitment numbers from that academy um, open house, which had to be canceled because of the, the situation that happened. And um, so normally that's you know my main method of getting students. And we now have more than enough students that have applied that we, we're, we're not even going to be able to fill, be able to take everyone. We're, we'll have to narrow it down because there's so many students that have applied and have seen this and we're very excited about it. So um, it definitely has, it has had an amazing result on our recruitment. So, um, and it was done in two weeks, uh, Mr. Dansky, because they just found out that, that the open house situation didn't go over so well. So they turned it around so fast and they knew that they had to have it done so fast for that um, application period for the Academy um, application that was due. All right, so I have a few more questions in the chat that I'm gonna let you guys answer. Um, how did you decide which pieces of collateral to create this campaign? Did you see in specific audiences responded better to certain pieces of the collateral? All right, so um, someone from our junior class, go ahead and take the answer for that one. I can take this one. So basically, uh, we all had our different teams. So like some people, we specialize in audio, some people in graphics, some people doing videos. And then to find the specific target audience, we assumed that the animation would appeal more to like middle schoolers and stuff like that while the testimonial would appeal more to like parents and be like "Ooh, you can get certifications look at how well they're doing in the workplace like how successful they are in college so stuff like that and then mr williams did you have any more questions from your freshman class Doesn't sound like it. They're they're in stunned silence, honestly. So 
wonderful. So um, parents, alumni, if you have a question, go for it. It looks like Caroline just turned on her video. So go for it, Caroline. Hey, everybody. My name is Caroline. I graduated in 2017. From, and just want to say that you're worried much about the academy at all. Um, so knowing now that you guys are really getting this out there and getting part of the family every year. So, so thank you so much for working so hard and really getting that out. I don't know about you guys, to be up there. but her audio is cutting in and out there a little bit, but I think we got the, the gist of that. Thank you so much, Caroline, for your words of encouragement, and we appreciate you um, being here to support your, your legacy here at Middle Creek. Parents, administrators, is there anyone that would like to add in? I see um, lots of really amazing comments in the chat. Everyone's praising y'all's amazing work. So I just wanted to, to mention as well, I, I see someone has put something thinking the same way I was. Um, when you have been presented with a project like this and had such a short timeline and then produced something so incredible, how does that make you guys feel as far as being prepared for the workplace? I mean, I, I feel like you're, you know, you're, you're ready to be hired now. Um, hopefully some of you will be doing those sum summer internships and have these opportunities. But I want you to sort of figure out how we, how do you take it from what you've just done and then how do you apply that to working someday, whether it's an internship or a permanent position later. Um, to answer that question, our last campaign kind of reflects that, which was rebranding for a specific local business uh, that we are assigned so many different things that in the workplace setting, if you're thrown, if, if an assignment is thrown at you, you can apply all of the different um, software, the Adobe suite in order to get that done. Um, it, and it, it feels, it feels really great to get such positive feedback because a lot of the um, criticism is a lot more constructive and critical when we work with Mr. Petty. So to also go off what Jack was saying is when we have um, experiences with presenting and working on projects and collaborating with each other, we're able to not only put this on a resume, but introduce this and work on it with our internships and then eventually apply it to our um, skills in the workforce. And just to add to that, in the past, we've had a bit more time and notice when it comes to these projects. So I think it was a good experience for all of us to have that tight deadline and it wasn't, there was no possibility of extending it. It was set. So I think it was a good experience to be under that pressure and be able to come out of it so well. That's an awesome learning experience for you guys, absolutely. And so Mrs. Council's um, disaster led to something positive. And so that's that's amazing too. I was. I was there with her when the disaster occurred, so I know what she's talking about. Um, so the fact that you guys have helped her continue to keep her sanity by doing this for her, I think is amazing. So you're all to be applauded for, for that. 100% agree. Thank you all so much. I can't tell you how much it means to me to have these materials to just promote you guys even more. So um, thank you again. We got a couple more questions in the chat. So he said, um, how, do you, do you get, how did you all go about the script writing process? And once the script was finalized, what did you do in order to make sure you got all the content you needed while staying on track with time? Um, I can say something about that. Um, for at least the animation, um, the script, um, both the audio and animation team helped and we created um, a document on what we would write, what we would, we would need to say, our target audience and stuff like that. 
And to go off of what Owen said. Going off of what Owen said, for uh, our script writing process, we spent, I think, it was three days over four class periods writing the script. And we went through like six different revisions of it with uh, Mr. Petty and Mr. Silva. And then that's how we finalized on it. And then over the weekend, Jack was able to quickly record it and get it to us so we could start working on finishing up the animation uh, throughout the next week. All right, so we have another question in the chat. Speaking as someone involved in this field and understanding the challenges you face, I'm very impressed with the results. Oh, that's not a question. <laughs> you should be proud of your work. That's another great praise for you guys. Awesome. And then um, one of the questions was, um, can we post this? So after this presentation, the recording will be um, posted to both the um, Google Calendar invite where I invited you guys all to this presentation so you'll be able to see it there um, and we'll also put it up on our mchsdigitalmedia.com website so you guys should be able to see this whole presentation afterwards and um, Mr. Williams yes we will absolutely make sure the presentation is shared with you so you can walk through it with the freshmen any other questions I just wanted to say um, this was amazing. Absolutely, hands down, amazing. And the video brought back all the feels. I was like, tears in the eyes. I miss you guys. It was simply amazing. You did a wonderful job. You knocked it out the park. It's exactly what needed to be. I loved it. Absolutely loved it. I'm all on board with that. Uh, this was such an awesome trip down memory lane, even with you guys, the juniors. I haven't seen some of you who are still virtual in a year and a half. And the, the freshmen can uh, testify. Like I'm like freaking out about how different some of you look. You've grown up like crazy since I last saw you. But um, that was such an impressive job, uh, you guys. And I, I think the biggest thing, at least that I'm thinking about in the immediate sense is um you know you have you have continued the the academy tradition of raising the bar uh and and i think this is such a good example for me to walk through now with the freshmen now they under i mean they just saw in real time what the expectations are uh and and so that's such imp so important for the upper classmen to to set that example for uh the the, the freshmen and sophomores so you know, I miss you. I could not be more proud of you guys. Uh, and hopefully we all get to see each other. And we're, we're all back together in the fall um, under normal circumstances. And you guys have to now beat that. You have to beat what you just did. So be thinking about it over the summer. <laughs> no pressure. I want to jump into and just to, to kind of say, first of all, um, to all the alumni that are here, you know, to get the response that we got was amazing. I know that um, we sent out, I don't know, probably a hundred messages or more. Uh, and so many people were willing to, to help out and, and send their testimonial. And um, some were busy and couldn't, but at least they said, you know, hey, we'd like to be a part of it. We got this, that and going on. But the response was there. Like it was, you know, instantaneous type of deal. Um, and, and, you know, kind of like mentioned earlier, you know, we're talking, you know, some of the, the stuff you saw was, you know, early 2000s, like 2009, you know, and 2008, 2012. I mean, that's been a hot minute from now. And so to still be in contact with the family, right? That's what we call it is the family. Uh, it's just so cool, you know, and we had so many people from not just colleges, but, you know, people that are working for the Today Show and for GE and that are UX designers and web designers and graphic designers and, and, and even stuff non-related to digital media, but that have used the skill sets you know, of, of presentation and networking and things along those lines to get where they are and have continually said thank you. So my, my thank you is to you. So thank you for continuing to give back to us, continue to be a part of the family, for joining us today, for sending in your testimonials, for, you know, exchanging emails with our students and exchanging text messages with everybody. And so, so great to see you guys always, always, always. So thank you again to all of our alumni that are here and that we're a part of this. 
Um, you know, like Mr. Malato said, the, the feeling like I, I love every part of that testimonial video. And I love the end when Michael says, come join the family, because that's what we are. We're a family. So I think that's a true testament of what we represent, what you guys were able to build. Uh, and then I know Mr. Silva and I couldn't be more prouder of of this group of juniors to be able to pull this off in a blended environment like this, where we have some students in the classroom and we have some students at home and to be able to collaborate in that environment and work together to build all of these assets, to put together a fluid presentation from all kinds of different places and to be able to, to edit and design and do all that stuff collaboratively through Google meets uh, and, and then using the skill sets that were built from freshman year through sophomore year, you know, to today. And again, to turn it around like that, um, that's the other thing that you guys that are freshmen are watching, you get to understand is like deadlines get faster and faster the more we get into things. So as you grow those skills, those skills get pushed to the test. Um, so again, just so proud of all of this group for everything that they did. Um, the fact that they've created something that will last long after they have graduated from Middle Creek, that we'll continue to use to, to you know, get more and more generations of academy um, family members, just so very grateful and thankful and proud of all you guys. If I could go off, oh, sorry. I was just going to say, I didn't expect I want to cry today, but go ahead. Go I know, I, watching that video was really hard, but um, I was going to ask, is this one of your guys' first presentations, like in front of real people or whatever? No, we've done multiple presentations. I think our biggest one was uh, sophomore year when we were doing our rebranding campaign and we had like businesses come in and lots of students and um, administration. I think that was our biggest one. So it wasn't our first. Gotcha. Well, just, I mean, the fact that you guys haven't been together and still were able to come together and present it that well is really, really impressive. Because I mean, we would spend weeks doing just presentations in class. So the fact that you guys aren't even, you know, close with each other and all you can talk is over the internet or over Google Meets or whatever, the fact that it really flowed and was an easy to understand presentation and like anyone could really understand it and even if they have no idea what digital media is. So that's really impressive. Thank you. Denise, I saw you turned on your camera. Did you want to say something? Other than I, it just, I am amazed every time and each time it seems like a notch up, like um, the digital media Academy is definitely outstanding. I I'm just, you guys impress me every time I see you. So just, that's what I had to add. Thank you, Denise. Mr. Silva, did you want to? Add yeah, I was just going to pop in. Um, so yeah, it's so good to see so many past graduates, um, Caroline and Michael and and Sarah, and I miss you guys all so much. Um, and thank you so much for those of you who sent in those videos. Um, it, Teddy and I would just, you know, did you see Michael's or did you know? Just got such a kick out of seeing all of you all grown up and doing your thing. Um, so thank you, and thank you everyone else for being here today. Uh, I know it means so much to uh, these young men and women who have put a lot of work into um, creating this campaign, and they have just been an amazing group since we since they came through the doors of Middle Creek um, last year when they did the rebranding campaign and had local business owners in here to watch, and they got up on the stage and presented. I mean. Mr. Petty and I were floored um, at, you know, just their capabilities and um, they just never cease to amaze us. And so I am just very proud of all of you and all the work that you've put into this campaign. And I hope that you are very proud of yourself. I think that is an amazing note to go out on. I think um, everyone said it. I'll say it again. You guys did amazing work. You continue to do amazing work. We're so proud of you. Uh, yeah, everyone just go ahead and give them a round of applause. Um, I see you guys. It looks like uh, Claire wants to say something real quick and then I'll wrap it up. Go ahead, Claire. Um, I just want to say, I think I could speak for all of us just to thank, you know, Mr. Silva and Mr. Petty 
and all of you, Miss Council, um, because we wouldn't be here without you guys. And, you know, especially without Mr. Petty's honest feedback telling us that's real bad when it's real bad. So thank you guys, and we love you. I love that. And I think that's just a, such an accurate reflection of our, our family feel here is we can be real with each other and, and tell each other when we need to, to work harder, change something, make it better. And we always push each other to, to improve and raise that bar. So you guys did it. We're so proud of you. One more round of applause. Thank you so much. I will be sending out this video to everyone um, on the, the uh, Google Calendar invite, and we'll make sure we get it up on our Mill Creek digital media website as well. Thank you so much. Feel free to leave your final chat message, and then you guys have an amazing rest of your afternoon.